How's it going everybody? Brian and Kelly for Short Circuit of Brewers. Wanted to do a follow-up on a live brew day. We did a live brew day with the Brew Easy, the Blickman Brew Easy. And in that video, we brewed a porter. Yeah, that's me and you back there. Okay. <laughs> I just wondered what was moving in the camera. <laughs> that's us. And a couple things in that video. Um, I told you guys that I was going to be doing a chocolate peanut butter porter. And also we we're going to be doing a giveaway. So. I want to address both of those things. Some people have asked me about it and whatnot. I will leave a link down in the description for the recipe. I did it on Brewfather, so if you want to copy the recipe or whatever, um, I can do that and uh, you'll find a link down in the description. And so we brewed the porter on that, fermented everything out, and then when I went to keg it, I actually put a couple or actually a milliliter of the chocolate um, OO flavors. Uh, it's OO, yeah, it's triple zero flavors. It's like OOO.com. Uh, the Dutch chocolate, I put a milliliter of that in, and then I put two milliliters of the peanut butter in because, in my experience in the past, it's been a little bit weak. And so, we're going to taste both the beers. I did one batch, I, I dosed with the chocolate and the peanut butter, and the other one I left separate or left normal. So, we'll check those out and uh, give me a glass here, and I'll go. Did you do the chocolate though in the other one and chocolate peanut butter in the other? What or is mean? it just porter and then? It's just porter. There's yeah. no chocolate in the other one. All right, so we got our beers, and this is the regular version, and this is the one without the chocolate or the peanut butter. So let's uh, let's get a nose on it. It's definitely a nice dark color. Yum. It has all those things that I'd be looking for in a porter. What do you what do you uh, get on it? Creamy, um, a little dry, but um, I can't wait to drink it. It definitely it has like a real. Nice creamy kind of off brown head on it, mm -hmm. something like that. So let's let's get the taste on it. It's almost coffee like. Mm -hmm. We didn't cheers. Oh no. The world's gonna end. Cheers. Cheers. You know why? Mm -mm. Take two. <laughs> mm. That's good. Yeah. So what what do you uh, what do you think on it? What do you get on the palate of it, or what do you what do you think the flavor wise? I think it's smooth. Um, it's sort of coffee-like, but it doesn't taste exactly like coffee. Right. It's creamy. It's, I think it's my favorite. Yeah, so it, for me, it's got a little bit of that bitterness, both I think from the hops and the, the grains that I used in it. Because uh, I think I've used some carafa in it, I used a little bit of black malt in it. But it's not so much, because sometimes you get porters that yeah, are like really yeah. acrid or burnt flavor yeah. tasting. And it doesn't Amber's really taste like, like that, that to me. Um, definitely got some good lacing going on there. I think there. it's very creamy more than Yeah, so I mean, I, and I think the hops come out really, really nicely on it. And if I remember correctly, it was about 30 IBUs, which is a little bit hoppy. It is. For, you know, a porter 18, usually that I do for you. 22. Um, but I was just trying to come up with a new recipe. So this one is very, very good. Very drinkable. Mm. I want a bonfire right now. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I do want to say a huge shout out to all of our patrons. We've had a few new ones recently, and we've had some that have been with us since the beginning. Uh, thank you very much to all of you. Your support means a lot to us. Um, you know, it, it just says that you really appreciate what we do. Um, there'll be a link down in the description for that. If you want to join, you certainly can. Not a not a, a requirement or anything like that. Um, and at this point, before we go to the next beer, I actually want to <laughs> share one of the winners. Now, in the video, we had said that there were going to be three winners, and three Blickman products. I didn't even know what the products were at that point in time. But here's the, here are the products. The products are the premium inline oxygenation kit from Blickman, a Blickman quick carb, and finally a Blickman beer gun. So the first winner, which is of the oxygenation kit, the premium oxygenation kit, is Beerman1957. His comments were, Another great video, I've had this system and actually had to get rid of it due to some physical limitations and now he's got an Anvil Foundry. So, Beerman1957, go check your notifications. I will be commenting on your comment with the way to contact me to claim your prize. 
And let's roll into the peanut butter porter. Congratulations. And, uh, yeah, no kidding. So we'll pick another winner here in just a minute. How did you pick him? A uh, random comment picker that, from okay, uh, that yeah. app. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, and I'm back with the peanut butter, cho the chocolate peanut butter version of this. So mm. give me, give me your impressions of this on the nose. Peanut butter, and then chocolate. I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm definitely getting no strawberries, no coconut. It's almost reminded me of like a crunchy peanut butter kind of. You know, what I mean, it, it's I can a imagine bit that. like that. That's my favorite. Crunchy now butter. this one here, compared to, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see because they're both pretty dark. But this one here, yeah. this one here actually cold crashed for quite a while. I was looking. And you can kind of see through it. I think mm -hmm. maybe I don't know. Let me yes, see if you I can. can. Get That's what I was noticing. This is a little more hazy. I don't know if I can or not. But, um, if I can get it focused. It is. This is a little bit more hazy. Anyways, mm -hmm. let's get a taste on it. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yep. A very mild Reese peanut butter cup and liquid. So yeah, one of the first things that I get on it is the chocolate. And I, and I did mm -hmm. use the Dutch chocolate flavor concentrate, by the way, on this. Um, and it's actually dark. It's kind of it's funny. It's like when Some you their... eat a Reese's, you start mm -hmm. with the chocolate and then you get to the peanut butter. Yeah, so then after the chocolate goes away, then the, the peanut butter mm -hmm. comes back. Uh, in the back end, and it's funny because it almost doesn't taste as bitter as the other one does. Mm -mm. And I, I'm assuming maybe that's from the chocolate or whatever. It's not but even this that stuff bitter, is, but... is super concentrated. I mean, literally, I put so if you can see these the the dropper, I literally put two of those droppers of the chocolate in, and four of the droppers mm -hmm. of the peanut butter in. It. You can smell that. Oh, you want? Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, you want? Oh, you don't want to taste it's it. It's really that Yeah, bad. it's really strong. Don't I mean, do it. Don't do it, folks. <laughs> You have a bitter beer face if you do that. So, yeah, I mean, I think it turned out really well. Um, I have a new perfume. And so, with that, let us choose another winner. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Oh, that's heaven. All right. So, our next winner. There's um, heaven. What's that? There's heaven. Yeah. So, our next winner, uh, his comments were, since your video, I received the Brew Easy 10-gallon system and have two brews <laughs> completed on tap. Um, he goes on to say that... Uh, he has an anvil foundry and some other things. Um, I'm a big long comment, really appreciate it. And the winner of the Blickman Quick Carb is gonna be Tony Green. So congratulations, right, Tony. Tony. Be on the lookout for the response to your comment. I'll re respond, I responded to it the first time, but I'll respond to it again with the way to contact me to claim your prize. So congratulations to you. And with that, we will go ahead and pick our last winner which is for the Blickman beer gun. And that uh, comment was, I did not see this live, but still enjoyed all the info. So that was an awesome oh, comment, a rewatch. So those are yeah. always cool. And the winner of the Blickman beer gun is Lance Criswell. So Lance, right, Lance. be on the lookout down there in the uh, comment section to claim your prize. And uh, I'll be contacting you and we'll get all this stuff sent out to you. But I uh, just wanted to follow up on that video and, and share this out with you guys. And like I said, I'll share the, the recipe down below. I'll also share the link to the flavorings that I used. And, uh, you know, every, just check out the comment or check out the description for all the details of the video and everything. So This gets five yums out of five. Yeah, absolutely. I, I like this a lot. So you know, good thing I brewed 10 gallons of it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. With that. You get three and I get cheers. seven. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Mm -mm. Good stuff. As always, this has been Brian. Oh, and Kelly. Oh, and Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't ready. For Short Circuit Brewers. And we will see you on the next video or live stream. Stay tuned for that. Cheers, everybody.